What about that? I was honestly hoping they were down here to take my picture while I did announcements, but it uh, seems like my posse left. <laughs> How about that? Oh, what a great one. I'll tell you, if that didn't bless you, 
Those kids, I'm telling you, aren't you glad you're part of investing in the next generation? I don't think you heard me. Aren't you glad we get an opportunity to invest in that next generation? Wow. Just a blessing, just a blessing. Well, we want to welcome you here this morning. If this is your first time to be with us, we want to just say welcome. We want you to do us a favor. If you're visiting with us, if you'll text welcome to 270-232-2350, let us know that. Or you can also take that bulletin that you were handed on the way in and fill out that information and drop it in the bag when it comes by. Either one of those would be great. Hey, we get another opportunity on Wednesday night to invest in the next generation to show them love. And so we are going to have Trunk or Treat here on the property. And if you'd like to help us with that, just let us know. You can do that two ways. You can give me a call, or you can also go onto the website under Reach uh, Projects and click on Trunk or Treat, and that'll take care of it as well. But uh, we wanna just bless, we wanna just bless our kids, and we know that you wanna help us with that. We were looking for 100 cars. Be real honest with you. We're over 100, but we'll still take you anyway. How about that? Isn't that just the kind of church we are? Mickey, where are you? Or Kevin, which one's coming? Both of you coming? All right. Wanna, huh? They're already dressed up. We, we, we'll let them come to the kids' room, okay? Hey, Mickey, why don't you and Kevin tell us what's going on? Yeah, so how many of y'all are a veteran or no veterans in the community? Should be everybody. So this Saturday, we're having a free event out at um, the Wishbone Ranch. Um, it's free from 10 to four. The REACH team is gonna do the cooking. We're gonna have about, hope to have about 400 veterans show up and ride on four-wheel vehicles, um, as well as try to draw them in to our next event, which is the week after that, that Kevin's gonna talk about. Yeah, so the week after October, October, no, November the 8th, a uh, couple of Fridays from now, we're having our Night of Honor. It's the third annual, right? Third, is that right? Third, third annual Night of Honor. Uh, it'll be here. It's for a veteran and their spouse or a guest. Um, we'll feed them, love on them, uh, appreciate them. Uh, and this is an opportunity for you guys that are not veterans to come and serve those who have served. Uh, so if you want to um, volunteer that night to basically host, wait a table, uh, just love on them. Go to hillview.com slash reach. Sign up for that uh, to be a volunteer. Also, if you are a veteran or want to sign someone up that you know, hillview.com slash reach. Uh, go down to the Night of Honor thing and sign them up. Uh, that way we got a good idea of who all is going to be there uh, for that. It's an awesome night, awesome event. Uh, so please share that. For those of you that raised your hands, you have a job now. Uh, you've let us know that you know someone or are one. Uh, invite them to that. It's going to be a special night. We're going to love on them and appreciate them and uh, serve those who have served. So thank you guys. We have, a, we have a great opportunity. Great opportunity to touch kids and touch our veterans. But tonight, today, in this hour, we have a great opportunity to come and worship the Lord for all that he has done. For all that he has done. And so in just a few moments in this next worship set, if part of your worship, you want to come and you want to take part of, of communion, there's uh, the bread and the juice is there. If you want to tear off the bread and dip it in the juice, that'll be great. If you need that, if you want that, they're spread out all over the room. We want to invite you in this next worship set to do that. Those of you that can stand, would you stand with me? Now we pray with me. Father, we come before you, and Lord, we've been in awe. We've been in awe of what you've done. God, you continually show us that. And God, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to see what you have made. And Father, those, those many children that were up on the stage a minute ago are those that you have made. And God, we pray blessings over them, and we thank you for, as a church for entrusting us with them. God, we pray for the upcoming events, but today, Lord, we pray that in this hour, Father, we know there are those here that may not be in a relationship with you. And Lord, today we pray that today would be the day of salvation. God, we know you're willing and you're able. God, would you bless our time and would you bless these elements of communion? And Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. 
Amen.
welcome, church. Please welcome Natalie to the water. There we go. That's all right. We got it. We're just going to repeat that, okay? And her friend, also, her friends Courtney and Abby, come on in. Listen, his grace is sufficient even when we slip and fall. You hear me? <laughs> Isn't that right, church? Yes. <laughs> so Natalie gave her heart to Christ at Fields of Faith. It's an FCA event at uh, Western's campus a few weeks ago. And, and I, I love when a student comes to me and says, hey, I've got to get baptized. And so I love that. That's, that's real. She's been here. She's heard it. And so she was convinced. And uh, she wanted her friends to be here. She makes friends apparently by borrowing shorts from random people. So that's, she has a whole bunch of shorts at her house that don't belong to her. Let her explain that story. So that's that. Natalie, I've got a few questions for you, okay? Number one, do you believe that you're a sinner? Yes. Do you believe that Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and rose again the third day? Yes. And you put your faith and trust in him? Yes. And he's got you forever and ever? Yes. Amen, my sister. Then it's my privilege to baptize you because of your faith in Christ. As he died on the cross for you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, may you be buried in Jesus and risen in Jesus. Yeah. Father God, we lift Natalie up to you. And Lord, we're so grateful uh, that she was convinced. We're so grateful that she received the love and grace of Jesus Christ. And Lord, it's real for her as a young lady and it's real for anybody, no matter what age or situation or stage or wherever they've come from or wherever they've been, Lord, your grace is sufficient and your love is available if we will repent and confess Christ. So Father, I pray that you would use Natalie's life as a beacon, a lighthouse to show people Jesus. God, our conversation in the back was that her goal now is to be the friend in the baptistry with somebody else and to do it soon. And so, Lord, I pray we'd see that come to pass. Thank you for our friends, for our support. Lord, we look forward to great things. In Jesus' name, all God's people said. Amen. Natalie, go tell somebody. Please welcome Brittany to the baptistry. Good morning. Please welcome Adam to the baptistry. Adam, I got some questions for you. Do you know that you're a sinner and you cannot save yourself? Do you also know that Jesus Christ came to earth, he lived a perfect life, and he died on the cross for your sins? Yes. And have you received him in your li life and asked him to be your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. All right. Or is with that profession of faith, that I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be buried in Christ. Amen. God, we lift our brother up in the name of Jesus and confess that you are doing a new thing in him, Lord. And thankfully, what you do is you start something and what you work in works out. So, Father, over our brother right now, God, we pray just a brand new life. God, from this point forward, Lord, in, in everything, his thoughts, Lord, his heart, his actions, his attitude. God, that he just trusts you, Lord, that your grace is sufficient even moment by moment. So, Lord, I pray for continued restoration and healing. Look forward to what you're going to do, God. Use him as a beacon of light to share Christ with others. In Jesus' name, all God's people said. Amen. Amen. Welcome, Carl, to the baptistry. All right, I'm going to tell a little story on Carl. Um, so he didn't want to come to church this morning, and he got up and, and got here. Um, he was walking up the steps over there as we usually sit at the top, and he said, turned around and said, I need to get baptized today just have this feeling, so thank God for that feeling. Thank God for Kyle. All right, Kyle, I got the similar questions for you. Do you know that you're a sinner and you cannot save yourself? Yes. Do you know that Jesus Christ came to earth, he lived a perfect life, and he died on the cross for your sins? Yes. And have you received him in your heart and asked him to be your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. All right, with, with that profession of faith, that I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be buried in Christ. Lord Jesus, we lift our brother up now. And God, just thankful that even days we don't want to get up. Lord, you're already up. You've already taken care of it. You're a God of providence. Father, thank you for my brother. Lord, I pray that today would be a new day for him. A day of recognition that you know what? No matter what, God's got me. He's got it taken care of. And he's good enough. He's better. And Lord, we know that your plan is the best plan. Your way is the best way. And Father, I pray that somebody would see this and receive it. Father, I pray you use my brother's life 
as a beacon, as a light, a testimony, Lord, to point others to Jesus. God, it's not perfection. It's salvation and relationship. And so, Father, I pray you protect him, lead him, guide him, Lord. We speak life, healing, faith, and truth over him right now. In Jesus' name, all God's people said. Amen. Amen. Please welcome Kevin to the baptistry. Come on, Pastor Kevin. All right, good morning. I'm going to welcome uh, Robin into the baptistry, Rodders, and then let's welcome Donald. Donald is 87 years old getting baptized this morning. 85. that Jesus Christ died for your sins yes and you knew you were a sinner yes and you know that Jesus Christ lived a perfect life yes that's good and did you know that he died on the cross for your sins yes and then he rose three days later okay and he now lives and sits at the right hand of God and he lives in you now and you have made that profession of faith thank you yes Donald, I met him just last Sunday. He was out there in the lobby. We got an opportunity to talk. And he'd been in church most of his life. But no one had ever led him to a relationship with Jesus Christ. But he knew about him, but he didn't know him. But today, he's stepping out in faith, trusting God. So can you. If you have known Jesus, but you don't know Jesus, you can do that today, just like Donald did last Sunday. And guess what? And you too can be in these waters just next Sunday or today because Jesus loves you and he wants you to be faithful in baptism. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. It's a name. It's by the name of Jesus Christ. And we baptize you now, Donald, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in Christ and risen in Christ. Woo-hoo! Thank you, Jesus. All right, let's pray. Father, we we love you, Lord. Lord. We just thank you for Donald. Lord, we thank you for, Lord, still saving someone, Lord. And, and, and Lord, we just ask you to uh, be with him, guide and protect him, Lord. Lord, we just uh, thank you for salvation. Lord, we just thank you for this baptism, Lord, and the witness that it's made to so many people this morning. We love you, and we thank you, and it's in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Man, I just wanted to keep going, don't you? I tell you, church, um, let this gentleman be a lesson to all of us. It's never too late. It's just never too late. Jesus can reach anyone, anyone, anywhere, anyhow. And he wants to. He wants to. He is pursuing you. He is relentlessly pursuing you. Let's pray together for our time of tithes and offerings. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for what we've seen today. Or you've allowed us to be a part of here at Hillview. God, we, we worship you today. We praise you. Thank you for this time of tithes and offerings, God. Pray your blessing over it in the name of Jesus. You are our great God. And we celebrate you today. In your name we pray. Let all the earth rejoice. 